It is my pleasure now to uh, welcome in Ray Hamill, the sports editor for the Eureka Reporter. And uh, Ray, you've been in this market a lot of years covering HSU athletics. Uh, first off, thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks for having me here. It's good All right, to be here. let's talk about HSU. Let's start with Frank Cheek, obviously. <laughs> he, he's the legend and he's the gold standard. And he has set a very high standard. I don't think it's any shock that every time homecoming rolls around and the Hall of Fame action, the inductees, it's all about Frank's athletes. Yeah, well, uh, you know, Frank obviously has had so much success here, uh, and it's particularly this year, of course. And, and, and uh, it's just, I think, you know, he, he's, he's quite a character. So, and I think that helps, you know, it's just his personality. And, uh, and you know, got a lot of admiration for the guy. And that makes your job easy. Yes, I mean, it, yes. when you, and this guy's the ultimate soundbite, right? Or the ultimate, uh, you know, little thing you can whoop, put in there, quotable Frank Cheek, not a problem. Yeah, he likes to shoot from the hip. <laughs> He'll let you know what he's thinking. And, and, and as a reporter, you got to respect that. And I like the fact that, you know, in this day of everyone talking about young gun coaches, this and that, I mean, Frank's old school. And for a fact, the old school guy to go out there and win another championship, that was special. It, it was, you know, like it, it really was. And especially the way it's been the last few years with them, they come so close. For them to actually come and, and do it this time uh, was great, you know. The disappointments in the, in the postseason in the past were all put to rest with that, you know. And the way they did it was just magnificent. What do you think about the fact, for the folks that don't know, Frank never gets voted conference coach of the year. He doesn't get a lot of... <laughs> Well, maybe too much respect from his peers because they it's kind of like he he's the big bad guy out there and they don't show him the love yet he gets the last laugh isn't that great for humble state yes Jake? it is i think success tends to breed resentment you know and i think that maybe a lot of them are jealous you know and also i think that maybe he rubs some of them the wrong way with just his, his personality but uh it, it, and that, again that was great to see him when he wasn't even voted in the top four the coaches of the conference of the year yeah i mean you know that was a joke ridiculous it was ridiculous i was crack up he uh not the best in the conference but he's best in the nation shifting gears uh, looks like Humboldt State's got a good one in Rob Smith what are your thoughts early now the program one in four but the product on the field is a world away from last year yes it is uh, I, I see it in the little things in practice you see it in the attitude of these players uh, and, and what really impressed me is the way that they're battling in games uh, I saw the Sac State game in particular mm -hmm. you know when they fell behind big early on it was their first game they were obviously uh, you know nervous or whatever it was out there but they didn't stop fighting, and that was what impressed me. It's the attitude of the players. They're struggling. It's a young, it's a yeah. young team. Yeah, Rob said. I mean, nobody's even started ten games uh, except for three guys. Yeah, and I didn't even realize they were that young. Yeah. Uh, but they're growing, you know, and you can see it every week. I, I, I like the quarterback situation. I think Mike looks pretty good. Uh, he's grown. He had, he had a pretty decent game the other day. He put up some yards. Right. Uh, and he's getting on in sync with the receivers. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. But uh, I, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen from Smith so far. Yeah, Pru and the group uh, coming along very nicely. What are you most excited about this year as we're in the fall and getting ready to cover Humboldt State Athletics? Oh, boy, there's so much, you know. I mean, I, I love the football team. I love the soccer. It's, it's, it's a joy to watch. Again, you're talking about young teams. The soccer teams right. are young, too. And Andy's done, he's done a pretty decent job with, with them. That, that, um, they're picking up um, some nice wins. Um, the football, of course, is great. I think you're getting bigger crowds out. That's absolutely. exciting. Absolutely. And I'm already looking forward to softball. Uh, would it, you know, and basketball, of course. You yeah, know? Absolutely. New gym, so many storylines. It's good to be the sports center. Hey, Ray, thanks for stopping hey, by. Thanks for having me. And we got to do a whole show on how Ray came from Ireland to be a sports <laughs> editor here in America. That is probably a couple shows right there. Hey, I'm JB Mathers. You can always email the show, jb at jbmathers.com. I want to thank our sponsors, Del Rica Distributing, Miller Lite, Bear River Casino, Miller Farms, Schaefer's Ace Hardware, and Coast Central Credit Union because belonging never felt better. Well, another show in the books. I can't wait to do it again next week. I'm JB Mathers for Humboldt State tonight.